Hey, what's happening, everybody? It's your old pal, Mr. Butter, coming back at you. I know that the sneaker game has kind of cooled off for a minute. A lot of the Jordan 1 high and low hype that we saw as late as last year has kind of died off, and a lot of people have just completely lost interest in Jordan 1s, whether it's highs or lows. For me, it's still one of my favorite silhouettes. The market is a little bit oversaturated with different colorways and that sort of thing. However, I think that if people pass up on this pair right here, they may end up regretting it. If you're into kicks and you feel like hanging out, then hit that subscribe button. Let's take a look at these Jordan 1 Low OGs in the Mystic Navy colorway. So like always, we'll start with this box. One thing that I thought was weird is the box is huge. This is Lowe's. These are size 10. As soon as I saw the box, I thought, my goodness, that's a big box. And then I compared it to some Jordan 1 highs in size 11. And this box for a size 10 low is bigger than that box. And I know a lot of times that's how they legit check shoes and whatnot but let me know if you got this pair let me know if the box is way bigger than what it needs to be for your pair or not the tag reads air jordan one retro low og like i said this is a size 10 the colors are labeled as black mystic navy and white the retail price on these was 130 US dollars and I got this W from the sneakers app. And back to what I was saying, look at how much extra room is in this box. But anyhow, I can tell you that it did not take me long looking at this pair to really, really like them. The quality of materials is on point, the shape is really nice and these things just came out incredibly well they definitely give me hyper royal feels you know it's very similar to that colorway the materials on these things i'm very 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 pleased with they actually even have that nice quality leather smell to them and i'm a big fan of that the blue leather is like a little bit more of like a matted finish it doesn't have much of a shine on it and it seems like there's more texture on those panels that have the blue leather on them but then the rest of the shoe just has this really really soft black leather and it feels very very high end before i forget to mention it they did come with some flat black laces already in the shoe but we also got a spare of this mystic navy i personally will just keep these black laces in i think they look nice up against that black tongue but starting with this outsole you can see it's a standard jordan one tread pattern like we always get nike branding at the midfoot pivot point in the front and it's just that classic looking tread pattern We've all seen it before, whether it's on highs, mids, or lows. They really haven't changed this over the years. But then coming up from that Mystic Navy outsole, it meets a bright white midsole with bright white stitching. And it's nice. It just really kind of pops because the rest of the shoe is really dark being black in that Mystic Navy color but I like the white, it just kind of brightens it up a little bit. And then right up from that, we'll get to the real star of the show, and this black leather feels really, really nice. It feels really high end. It reminds me of the feel of the leather on like the patinas, or one of those pairs. It's just really, really soft. If you look at the edge of those panels, you can see that it's a really, really thick cut hopefully you can get a good look at that but this leather feels really good and we have it on the mug guard we have it going up the eye stays as you can see on the side panels that black leather has a little bit more of a texture to it but it feels just as soft 
and I really like the way that came out but it's got more texture on both side panels but then on back of the shoe we've just got overlays for the swoosh in that mystic navy color and we've also got it on the heel and then up on this heel tab where we see that wings logo embossed in black and that came out very well looks nice and clean and then we also have that blue leather here on the toe box where we see all these perforations and like I mentioned before I don't know if you can tell on camera but it's like the black leather reminds me of you know standard black leather that we've had on Jordan since way back it feels really really soft but it's got a bit of a shine to it but then all these blue panels is like a matte finish and it just looks really really nice I really love the way these came out I think right now these shoes are pretty affordable even on the resale market I don't think prices are crazy or anything. I think a lot of sizes, they're sitting around 150. Retail was 130, so I think that's a pretty decent price. And honestly, the quality of these things is spot on. So if you're thinking about grabbing these, you might wanna go ahead and grab them while prices aren't too crazy. But we've got a standard nylon tongue in a black color and the piping around that is also black as well as the tag is black but it's got some blue nike air branding in that mystic navy color but then they gave us a black sock liner and the insole is white but it says nike air in that mystic navy color and all in all i just think these things look great I think they look very, very clean. The materials are really good. Sometimes I get a 10 or a 10 and a half in Jordan 1s, but I'm glad that I got a 10 in these because the materials feel really, really soft. So I'm not really worried that I'll have any rubbing or any discomfort or anything like that. I think these will age really well just because of how good the materials are, and I can't wait to get them on feet. But anyhow, that was just a quick look at these. Let me know what you all think of them, and I hope you all have a wonderful day. I'll catch you on the next one. I'm out.